Hey everyone, Josh here. Got the wrap in from jeepgrills.com, my thin blue line reflective. Gonna do a quick how-to video on how simple this is to install. First, let's look at the materials you're gonna need to install this. All right, this is all you need. Just any standard spray bottle, you can pick it up Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, whatever, any dollar store. Flat screwdriver, you take the grill off. Any kind of liquid detergent, I use Dawn because that's what the wife has in the kitchen. Then just some kind of plastic card used as a squeegee if you have a squeegee that works too. All right, here's the grill. My suggestion to everyone is whenever you get the grill, go ahead and lay it out so it can start flattening out, make your install a little bit simpler. If you're like me, I still have the Jeep emblem on my grill. Quick fix, if you got a hair dryer, take, get it off. Once you get it off, you're gonna clean the whole grill with alcohol. And make sure you get everything whenever you clean it. Get all the bugs off, any grease, anything that could cause bubbles or spots on the grill. All right, what you wanna do before you get ready, after you've cleaned your grill up, got everything off of it, take some alcohol. Of course, I've got plenty of these little alcohol swabs. So you wanna go over it, get all grease, any kind of wax, if you've got wax on your grill, you wanna get all that off. Take your mixture of soapy water, spray down the grill real good. Make sure you get every where the, the wrap is going to set on the grill. This will help give you a little bit of leeway whenever you go to stick it on there. Once you've got the decal taken off the back, you can wet it down too. This will help keep it from sticking to itself. Try and get it the best lined up as you can. This is why you want the soapy water because it helps it not stick immediately so you can move it around. The best way it works is from the middle.
All right, once you've got your grill skin on, let it dry for about 20, 30 minutes. Just let all the soapy water get out from underneath it. After that, then you can remount it back on your Jeep.